Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people across the whole world, it is Monday, September 8th, 2014, and welcome to Mostly Walking. My name is Sean Plott. And I'm Bill Grainer. And I'm Sean Bouchard. And today we are on the sixth day of playing. King's Quest Sixth. I think we're going to beat it today, and this game is uh, maybe good. It's maybe good, it's maybe confusing, but the important thing is that it is nostalgic, which overcomes all quality barriers. Uh, right now we have been traveling around the islands, and it has become increasingly nonsense what we have to do and where we need to be going. And it turns out, as long as we're wandering, we will begin to randomly find what we need, because there's been a breakdown of logic and structure. We've gone into hell, we found a ticket, because uh, they have tickets there. We found that no matter what the game speed is, the zombies will always get you, and uh, uh, now we have entered the great bony vagina of sticks. Uh, by River Sticks. So, uh, before we hop into the game, we know that the drinking game happens every single week here, mostly walking, and everyone has to take a drink whenever the word girl or princess is stated. And I'll begin by sharing what I'm drinking, because I'm very pleased with it. It is a Firestone Double DBA. This is like a $20 bottle of beer that I, in a grocery store, it had six of them for 15 bucks, and I just bought all six. Boom! So this is great. So I'm going to be drinking that. Bill, what about you? What do you have today? A classic. Pacifico. Ooh. As they say, just Pacifico. Uh, Mr. Bouchard. I uh, am drinking a Midori and ginger ale in order to bid farewell to the Green Isles. <laughs> wow. Was that just what was in the house or was right? that specifically No, I went out up? and got it. Actually, I had, I had Midori for the first time in a fruit punch last weekend and it was real good, so I got some. Hmm. Well, in that case, listen to this music. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, we've been very careful to save right before we entered into this because uh, here's one of the key reasons you save. Look what happens if we need to go to the previous screen. Wait. Oh, God. The door to the underworld refuses to budge. As with all things of this realm, there is no turning back. So we're fucked. That's all that means, right? You're just, you're screwed. So, I mean, I'm just going to keep wandering, but I mean, uh, we got to save beforehand, and I'm just going to begin peering around. Did we, did we touch that guy? Yeah. Let me, let me give him an eye and a finger. Good. What? Apparently. Alexander's not the only one who's curious about the body on the path. Wait, did a ghost take up residence in that body? Isn't that what ghosts do? I, isn't that... No, not really, is it? Aren't they possessors? They're so possessive. <laughs> a knight's remains lie abandoned on the path. The knight, like Alexander, must have been alive when he entered the underworld. But for oh. some reason, he never reached his destination. <laughs> but for some reason, Alexander died ten feet after he got in. The druid spoke of. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember that. I love how coy the dialogue is. I wonder if it's the night the druid spoke of. Remember that? <laughs> it probably is. I think he he has a looks like uh, maybe an oily rag. The knight is wearing an old tattered ribbon. It must have once meant much to him as a sign of his lady's favor. Oh. Ladies and ribbons, the Alexander story. <laughs> yeah, right? Seriously, I think Alexander's pro projecting a little bit too much. He's like, there's a ribbon. He was probably in love and would have done anything to get a girlfriend. It's like, Alexander, <laughs> Alexander, please get a grip. The ribbon is so old, it would crumble at Alexander's touch. What about this, what about this shiny glove? Alexander takes the knight's black gauntlet and examines the writing on it. Flesh may cross the portal and seek its master, death. Flesh may go where death is trod and challenge, like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. Zounds, wow. that sounds serious. Zounds, was that a poem? <laughs> Zounds. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Scheherazade, isn't Scheherazade the character from uh, 1001 Arabian Nights? Yeah, it's also the magic card with the most errata. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it, it is. It is. That's some fantastic trivia. Oh my but, god. 
I don't do you know? understand. I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand the reference to like Shahrazad challenging death. Uh, that, that seems like a reach to me. Oh, look Alexander at that creepy doesn't hand! Doesn't want to disturb the knight's hand. Good. <laughs> Look at that. Don't, don't tell me what Alexander wants so, to do. Let me just, yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, I, I just gotta say that that, that you, you might consider that a criticism, but I'm always just so charmed when the game's like, nah, Alexander's not really in the mood right now. That's true. I actually do love that. Alexander doesn't feel like it because it's much better than modern games. It goes, gush, gush, gush. well, what if I touch this? Gush, gush. Well, can I touch this? <laughs> oh, it made a nice noise. It didn't. All right, I'm gonna. Well, you know, it might actually be nicer if Alexander was the one telling us. Into the river sticks. What? No, I don't. What? Did you just did you just fall into the river sticks? As soon as the water touches his skin, Alexander's mind and body go numb. He sinks like a lifeless stone. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm reacting. I just I just I was just there. Are we right there? Oh. Next. Hey, hey, what a fix! Bathing in the river sticks. Oh god. It's uh, not even. Okay. I don't like the way you said that. Now there's something I have to do. I need to relook and see if uh, they said princess or girl when we looked at the ribbon. I just I just want to make sure that we're not violating the drinking game for tonight. Let me just. The knight is wearing an old tattered ribbon. It must have once meant much to him as a sign of his lady's favor. Nice. Wow. Narrowly avoid. I'm gonna drink anyways. This is delicious. Okay. <laughs> That's the thing about drinking games. <laughs> let me let me carefully click right here. I mean, ho! Oh! oh dear! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Jeez! All right, let's look at this guy. Is that Karen? Charon stands in his boat, eternal ferryman of the dead. Alexander can't quite make out what's under Charon's cowl, and he's not sure he would want to. Hey, it kind of looks like a pelvic bone <laughs> under his. <laughs> right? it He's a real yeah, like... dickhead. <laughs> I must see the Lord of the Dead. Please let me ride across the river Styx on the ferry. Charon apparently has rules as strict as those of the skeletons at the underworld's entrance. Alexander is not getting on that boat until he gives Charon the appropriate fare. I mean, is this something Charon told us, or is this just something that that the narrators decided? I mean, oh wait, shit! I didn't, I didn't pick up the gauntlet after I reloaded. Guys, I feel like I'm gonna give him the gauntlet, so let me just go. No, you gotta give him the coins. Don't you know? Oh. Uh, don't you know your Greek myths? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let me give him coins. I need to. Uh, let me just make sure I fetch this gauntlet here. Alexander takes the knight's black flesh. Ch change knight black flesh. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, I didn't die. So, right. If we didn't have the coins, we would just throw the game away. Yeah. Wait. What do the coins say? The two coins from the skeleton in the catacombs are extremely old and corroded. You know, I wanna. I just wanna try to give him the gauntlets. I have this gauntlet. <laughs> Will this get me across the river? <laughs> Charon oh, seems Alexander. unimpressed with the knight's gauntlet. Do I have a Whatever man? the gauntlet's purpose, <laughs> it apparently has nothing to do with the river Styx ferryman. <laughs> right, I have this gauntlet. Wait, let me let, let me let me see the feather. It probably has been a while since Charon had a good laugh, but tickling him would only make him mad. I love the idea that Alexander was like, "Oh, let me try to get across." D tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Just like tries to do that, and the ferryman's like, "What the hell, man?" All right, let me. Let's two coins time. Here we go. Will these coins do as fare for passage? Charon accepts the fare and waves Alexander onto the boat. There we go. I love this. Wasn't this sort of shit in EverQuest, where like you had to trigger certain keywords with NPCs who had quests, so you could like go through something dramatic where you killed a god and get the horn of a god and you were convinced you had to give it to a certain NPC so you'd give it to him and it wouldn't be the thing he wanted and he'd go, uh, thanks, I guess and it would be gone, you wouldn't have the horn anymore like, that's, that's amazing because what is so pleasing to me about using the two coins for Charon 
is that there's a kid out there who just didn't have the two coins and he's like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, because, I mean, like... Oh, damn. Whoa! Alexander walks too close to the menacing gate. No! Oh, oh shit! I need to save more. It must have been love at first bite. Oh, no. shit, love a pun. That's terrible. <laughs> shit. Okay, so so even if you got the reference, even if like you Apparently. recognize Karen and you're like, oh, I need two coins to pay my fare, what then? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> what then? Man, how would you know where to go? in the entire game to find that. I mean, it was just Release. laying around in the catacombs. Right? Like, that's awesome. That is amazing. Because it was a different time where gamers, that's just what you did. Yeah. It's like, it's like when, when you and I were talking about dating in the 1600s, where this is what a calling card was. Because if you were interested in a lady, you wouldn't call her or send her a text like, hey, sup. You know, you would literally show up to her house and just... Be, knock and be like, I'm here now. And she would just... <laughs> right. and that was customary for her to just, like, have tea ready for whoever showed up, because it was yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. someone. Yeah, and then so here, it's just a different gamer. You're supposed to go, hmm, gotta try again. Dude, actually, with the that other thing you're talking about, that's why they had sitting rooms, was so that right. you could keep the randos from the street, and they, they could sit in your sitting room, and then you could be cloistered in your little, you know, dressing room. And, uh, you know, your Butch Macklin, your uh, butler, would just be like, oh, sit here forever. And then you'd climb out the window. And that's... So that's all replaced by texting. <laughs> that was your inbox. So let me, let, me, let, me, let me do the intuitive thing and look at, followed by talking to the door. The large wooden gate at the end of the path is closed. The wooden gate does not look particularly conversational at the moment. What? Can, can you, uh, wait, you saved, right? We're saved no, up? No, okay, let me, let me save. What about, what about touching it? What about touching it? Alexander reaches out to open the gate. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Ooh. Ooh. All right, cool. Okay, cool. What? Touch has awakened my sleep. It's the same one guy. voice. I smell the blood of a mortal. It's Saladin. Reach out thine hand again. It is. Fleshy human that I might devour it. Oh, it has he's been a real charmer. since I last ate. <laughs> since yeah, I last. <laughs> <laughs> It's an attractive offer. Let me let me gauntlet myself. Okay. I think you should give him the rabbit's paw. <laughs> Maybe we should tickle this face. I wanna <laughs> I have this. What care I? I am interested in thy bones, not in bartering with thee. Dost thou be bone man? <laughs> Verily so dost thou hand flesh eateth I. <laughs> For a guy who hasn't eaten in thousands of years, he seems pretty thirsty. I have this uh, gauntlet. That has not to do with me, human. Wait, do can I you, put on the gauntlet? Can you the talk to him now? Creepy enough when lit. Alexander doesn't want to do anything that might. Let me use my. If thou would see death, I can accommodate thee. Only step into my jaws, and death thou shalt meet. Oh, you should have said no. C, and then it would have rhymed. Let me, let me, I want to gauntlet myself. Alexander is more comfortable carrying the gauntlet than wearing it. Why would that be the case? That's never true with a gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander would rather carry that hat than put it on his head. That's the purpose of that, okay? Okay? Okay, wait, let me, let's talk He has more. a complicated family history with gloves. Yeah, let me... Despite his fear, Alexander summons his bravest voice to command the living gate. I would pass, gate. I have business with your master. 
My master and thine, human. I would be pleased Ooh. to introduce thee. Only step forward and thou shalt meet him shortly. No, thank you. <laughs> I've come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. And why should I let you pass, human, when I would much rather eat you? I have been told that there is a way for humans to enter Death's realm. <laughs> humans? There must be something I Humans! Do. Some task that will allow me to pass through your doors, Kate. <laughs> Some extra credit, maybe. Mm, I seem to recall something. A trick. Uh, perhaps, a trick? Um, a test. Mm, ah, yes. Should a human try to pass, a riddle is Gates won't to ask. What? <clears throat> pa pass and ask? A riddle yeah, it is, then. They, they totally rhymed and if up. thou wouldst fail to answer Gate, his thirsty jaws will be will masticate. <laughs> Agreed. Listen as though it meant thy life then, human, for it surely Shit, I did does. Shit, not have been better. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. Do we know any riddles, guys? My first uh, is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. Is it wife? My third leads it's only to victory. No. My fourth is not wife. Ends a nominee. And my whole is this gate's only key. Oh, I thought he said a hole. Yeah, I thought he was talking about like a hole. Oh. Like he just started talking about his hole all of a sudden. Yeah. I my fourth know. twice ends anemone. My third leads. Uh, hmm. There's just a bunch of letters. My fifth is a C supposed to anemone. Spell a word. It is almost like that. I'm just glad that it didn't leave us to our inventory. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. My first is foremost. So what, the first thing you do is legal. And the second time is outward. So maybe it's a spin, meaning spinning outward, uh, spinning legally. Spinning victoriously? I don't know. This is no. Uh, okay, hold on. Ends a, no a nominee? That's a nominee. What? How many letters is it? Wait. Uh, it, might it be four letters? This is like the the first, second, and third, fourth letter. It's clever, Sean. Is the game that clever? The game might be just that clever. Oh, oh my oh, god, yeah, it's yeah, letters! My, yeah, my first is foremost legally. Foremost, the letter L. My second circles outwardly. O in outwardly. My third leads all in victory. The thing that leads it is V. My fourth twice ends a nominee. Letter E is e. twice at the end. This is so stupid. <laughs> what is it? Love! It's love, oh, Bill! God. Let me turn up the volume. Bill, the password is love, didn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> My third I was convinced of with a girl I met in eighth grade. L is it love? Oh, how embarrassing you may pass, the mortal. Is love. Is love. <laughs> thou traitor of the mortal plane, how didst thou guess love? That riddle should never have been solved. Love is unknown in this realm. I used wordplay Love can and spelling. Spanish, even from this place, there are spirits still pining of it on the surface above. Still less can it be banished from my heart. What, what's amazing Enough. about that exchange Burn is that you don't even poetry, need to know what love is to answer the question. And quickly, you just need to know how to spell. My mind. Yeah. Cool. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that... Riddle is actually just a poem that the gate wrote in high school. <laughs> okay, save, Sean, save. All right, all right, hold on, let me, let me, let me save. I'm gonna save over Mostly Dead 4, because we just passed okay. it. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Excuse me, I'd like an audience, please. 
the shrouded guards escort Alexander to the throne of the Lord of the Dead. I will say, this art is really cool. Why have you it entered is. my domain, still wearing your flesh? This guy's amazing, right? If you right? are so anxious sweet. for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. But since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. <laughs> Very Kiss hospitable. my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. There's a lot of metaphors going around down here. You know, I think um, I'm chains I'm and... He's got significant knee problems. Yeah. He does, you're right. This. He should not be playing football. He's also got a neck the cage. The will to live is strong, is it not? I didn't do anything. Never mind. I didn't do I anything. I will okay. reach out to you. Oh, shit. Lord of Ugh. The dead's touch. Pretty sure he took too long. <laughs> instantly with a numbing cold shit. and blackness. Oh, damn! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, we fell out of frame. Hey, you know what? I actually think I even have that, that saved here. Look, I can zoom in on that. Oh. Alright, let me restore. Mostly dead. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna go right up. Boom! Alexander approaches the throne of the Lord of the Dead. It's time for that strange pulling sensation. Why have you entered my domain, still wearing your flesh? If you are so anxious for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. But since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. Okay, we got we're, we're, we got to do something. We got to we want to challenge him, right? Didn't isn't the whole gauntlet poem about how people can challenge death if they want to? I mean, we did get the gauntlet down here. It's I'm gonna gauntlet him. It's a good. I did not come here to die, but to demand my right to challenge. I respectfully right? challenge thee. That was death you guys weren't paying attention to throwing the down this no. Yeah. <laughs> Man may pass the portal and seek its master, death. Man may pass where death has trod, and challenge like Shahrazad, <laughs> he who reigns beneath the sod, to spare a mortal's breath. Like Todd. He has the gauntlet. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> he <challenges> death. <laughs> who are you to challenge death? <laughs> a man of flesh is all I need to be, my lord. And what is it that you seek with this challenge? <laughs> the soul of some dead maiden? I seek the souls of King Califim and Queen Alaria, the land of the Green Isles. Because I really want to date their you daughter. You would save two human souls and emerge alive from this realm yourself? Come on. That shall be a difficult <laughs> challenge indeed. <laughs> Batman. The tomb does not I totally didn't realize the death of all three of us leave, or none go. <laughs> Come on. Very well. <laughs> then let me think of an appropriate task. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> I have it now. <laughs> Your challenge is this. For thousands of years, I have sat upon this throne. I have heard every sad tale that can be told by human lips. I have seen tragedies that ended empires, injustices that defy reason, love that would light the very stars turn cold and hard. I mean, you make your own heaven, you make your own hell. that cannot like... possibly be born, and yet must be for centuries. I've eaten hot pockets that thing didn't burn I my have mouth. Never done. <laughs> I have never shed a tear. Make me cry. We should I'll pull out Mace. <laughs> that <laughs> is my challenge. Make death 
cry? Uh, is that our voice now? Sooner could he turn <laughs> sea to stone or fire to ice. Can, can you, uh, can you save right now? Hold up a mirror, it'll make him cry. Oh, oh my god! Bill, Bill, Bill. I actually Bill. Think that's a really good idea. Bill? I mean, it's Bill. also a pretty good burn. Yeah, let me. <laughs> You're right. Or give him some tea. Well, let's Don't see. We have a really boring book. Too? We, we, we can you... just read him this book, and he's like, "I'm bored to tears." <laughs> Feed him some baby tears from a uh, lamp. That. Let me just. If your existence has been all that you say it has, then truth alone shall be my sword. That's my new pickup line. The mirror's surface swirls with <laughs> darkness for a moment, then fills with images even blacker. Reflections of despair, of wailing souls, of shackles colder and more immutable than any forged by man. Is this of a, a magic mirror? That can never it is. Be quenched. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It shows oh. Alexander really are. feels the mirror tremble in his grasp oh. and is glad that he cannot see its face. <laughs> but the Lord of the Dead is transfixed to the mirror, to the screening of his life. Things long forgotten are once more uncovered. His enslavement to this throne while still a man. The years of watching misery and horror and reading. growing ever more numb to it. The seep Especially of his with him just doing this. The slow growth of a new thing altogether, which became that which he is now. His is an existence that has no possibility of redemption, no end. The surrounding spirits draw away in pain. The truth is so sharp, it stabs. So intense, it sears. <laughs> Take it away. Make it stop. Don't do it. Oh my god. This... Oh. The mirror of truth cracks from the strain, and death sheds a single gray tear. Manly tear. Truth is indeed a terrible thing. <laughs> I have worn this mantle for so long, I had forgotten its dreadful weight. You shall take the souls and leave as I agreed. You have been granted to stay from this inevitable reality. I almost envy you. Find the souls he has claimed. And bring them to me. King Calafim and Queen Alaria, I presume. Yeah, Your hello, hero hello. has won you a few more years of mortality. May your souls be more prepared for their rest when you return. Thank you, my lord. I hope that they will. And you, man of flesh, my steed shall take the three of you back to the land of the living. Tell her where it is you wish to go. I want to go to the castle where my girlfriend is. We're in love. Where we meet again, then, I assure you, we will meet again. No offense, my lord. But I hope that will be many long years from now. It is never as long as you might wish, mortal. Now, be gone. Yes, my lord. That's awesome. Well, we got through hell. Yep. Oh, and good job. Ooh. Dun, 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 spaghetti hair. <laughs> the main maid. Are you coming, Majesty? El Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. Watch over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from us. I will keep her safe until your return. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. <laughs> indeed. May we succeed in what awaits us, and live long together as a family. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh, he went off and impressed the parents before talking to her. Oh, doesn't that suck? How's your boyfriend doing? We're not dating, Mom! God, just because you decided we need to get married. Well, he's really nice, and he went to hell to resurrect us. You should date him. Oh, God, that's fantastic. All right, Sean, save, but don't... Don't save over. Yeah, so let me let me save as mostly living. Yeah, that's good. Let me tell you something. like what we're doing. Okay, there is, outside... Also, I have an air conditioning unit that's right by my computer, and it just sucks in like one or two fruit flies. So I have oh. exactly one fruit fly in my house at all points in time. One. A single fruit fly. It's a fixed point in time. Yeah, and I have exactly <laughs> one delicious thing that I guess is fruity. A double D an imperial special bitter. Mm. I don't even know what the ingredients are. This is so good. Double DBA. Dude. Sean, Bill, you gotta come out, man. Yeah. Alright. Wait, wait, did they say princess or girl? At all? We gotta be on Probably. point about this guy's daughter. I'm just gonna keep drinking. I have yeah. smart, good, good, good build. Mm. Okay, chat. You have to keep us on point. You have to hold us on that. Okay. So let's let's go up because I think I'd assume that we're now gonna see the procession entering in. Yeah, we don't have the costume anymore. So maybe we gotta. Oh, that's it. right, because when we were over a fire, we tried to put it out with fucking cotton. Yeah, yep, it was, uh, it was a good plan. That's a bold plan, let's see if it pays out for him, cotton. <laughs> okay, wait, let me, let me look at these. What are these things that I have? Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain table in the bookshop. Boring book. Yep. That's the boring book. Is this the spell book? Alexander is carrying a book from the bookshop. The cover says, Ye old Spell Book. Says that there spell booketh. Even at the time it was old. <laughs> <laughs> so we have used. Ooh, we need sticks water. Oh shit. <laughs> Can we go oh, back my to hell? Shit. You don't think he'd let us back in there for just a minute, do you? <sighs> I think we have to. I think we have to retread. Oh, is the problem? Shit. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. If we're gonna do this, is there anything else that we need from? Like, I don't want. Oh to my god, we need a. Minutes. Wait, is, is this is this a cup of swampoos? The little china teacup is made of fine porcelain. The teacup contains swamp ooze. Yes. <laughs> Good. Is this empty? The little bottle contains some sort of potion, and bears a label saying, "Drink me." Let's this is the one that makes it look like you're dead. That's yeah. right. What, what is this cloth? Alexander is carrying the Mother Ghost's translucent handkerchief. What? We're good. Mother Ghost. No. Okay, so, uh, it's when like birth we're in hell, hell, there was a woman who was looking for her child, I think, and she had a... I guess she had a handkerchief. I don't really remember the handkerchief. Oh my god, do we have to go back? Do we have to reload? No. I think we do. I think we do. Oh, shit-ass shit. Rudge. Well, here's a question about this game. Do we have to solve every puzzle in it to beat it or not? I'm pretty sure... Okay, so as I remember and understand it, there are two endings. And we one of them requires the clothes that are now burned. And the other one requires pretty much all of the rest of this. Okay, stuff. let me go to Or at least it the... requires the paint. So here's here's... Before we went... Is there anything else here? Yeah, uh, okay. I don't know. Can we just chat now? Is this maybe? bone here? Alexander picks up the two bones on the ground. Now, what do these bones remind him of? Ah, uh, yes. Dead people? Now I remember. Femurs. What? Hey! The skeletons are overcome with the musical call of the bones. What? They the begin what? to jiggle, then to dance. To what? No, they oh. don't. That's not what they do. <laughs> That's not what they did. What's happening, What's happening okay. guys? Did we reload a different game? Is this still I King's Quest Six? I think we won the game, guys. I think this is the the good ending. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the guy in the armor. Look at him go! Oh my god! Oh man! <laughs> that 
Done this with. has been King's Quest VI, <laughs> featuring Alexander and the Skeleton Crew. What is what is this even? What is this game? What is this game? What is this game? What the what? <laughs> Holy cow! Well, and that's how adventure games died. <laughs> The key. Alexander what? finishes his tune, and the skeletons resume their posts. Despite their frolic, they don't seem any friendlier. Let me... is this... Wait, wait, wait. The... Alexander yeah, picks up the skeleton key. Can I use this again? Oh, no. Alexander gears himself up for another round of <laughs> dim bones. <laughs> Shit, oh. Oh, God. Can the I skip this? The skeletons are overcome with the mute. No. We're I'm sorry, I'm it. sorry guys, I <laughs> fucked up. That was my bad. <laughs> okay. Going all the way here. Wow. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> what song is that? Is it is it Dem Bones? Yeah, I think so. But I don't it's like the reggae for Yeah, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a weird cover. The weird cover of Dem Bones. It certainly is an odd one. Shit, man, I can't skip this. I'm okay. incredibly <laughs> sorry. Done. Um, and now everyone knows why they are watching this tonight. So, finally makes uh, sense. stuff I want to talk about. I don't know, I have a list of stuff I want to talk about this game when we're done, but um... Right, well, Alexander... Alexander feels like he wasted a lot of fucking time. <laughs> Mostly dead too, saving over. Okay, wait, let me, let okay. me go. I'm going to backtrack and make sure there's nothing else. Here, let me just click here. And this is where the, the, the... Handkerchief Other was, ghost right? was. Yeah, the handkerchief. We got a handkerchief. Other ghost. So the zombies are over here? I better get the fuck Isn't out of here. Isn't that the... Get, no. Run! Run! That's some other... Run. Go! Wait. Run, Alex! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Shit! Um, 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 okay, get, run. Oh, thank God. <laughs> run, get out, get out, get out of there! Survive! Okay, so I think, I think we have everything that we need now. I assume so. It always sounds like you're dying. I know, the right? I have to associate that get, music. Get. So I gotta, I gotta give the ticket, right? Here's the ticket. Yes. Wait, do we still have the ticket? I have a ticket. It, yeah, from before. <laughs> I have a ticket. Oh my God. Tickets. Alexander, the man of many declarations. <laughs> oh, I see. We reloaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many save game spots. Alexander has. All right, so I'm I'm, I'm doing everything play. that we we did before. And now, I need, now I need to carefully click, and now yeah. I need to get some sticks water. Is that right? Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Do that though. Sticks Can you do it in the teacup? Like combine it with the tar or so. melted black glass. Despite its incredible stillness, the river seems to have a life of its own. Okay. All right, let's listen for that little ring. I live for that little ring. Here it comes. Alexander doesn't want to experiment with the organic surfaces of the it. underworld. They might not like it. I thought he did. Alexander scoops Ooh. a little of the river sticks into the teacup with the swamp ooze, being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin. Hey! Okay, good. You done. weirdly achieved it. Will be. All right, sure. wa watch how fast we can get through this. <laughs> we can marry our daughter. Is. Shot time. All right, let's see if we can let's see if we can blast through this puppy AFAP. 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 A single let's unit AFAP. Yeah. What are? Look at that finger coming out of the wall. All right. Is that a finger? Alexander reaches out to open the gate. 
suddenly. What? I Alex Alex Al Alex Despite his fear, my first is foremost legally. My second the answer. Rah! All right, uh, I, we, we have to listen to uh, Impossible one Alexander. more time. Why, uh, if you that kiss... Was good. I can't wait. I'm excited for Impossible. All right, let's see here. Perhaps Alexander should first state his purpose before he tries something like... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's right. Gauntlet. You gotta throw the gauntlet. I did not come here to die, but oh, wait, to here. demand my right of challenge. I respectfully challenge thee. Death by throwing down this gauntlet. Man may pass the please, portal. Please, please say Seek God. its master, death. Please, I, just, I can't wait. Man pass where death has trod. And please. challenge like Shahrazad. <laughs> he who reigns beneath the sod. To spare a mortal's breath. Like he time. has the gauntlet! <clears throat> Is there a Shahrazad story that I just... <laughs> He challenged who? Sorry, guys. Man of flesh. I spoke Is I that the impossible? For <laughs> that is such an amazing performance. If you exist, I mean, like, I wouldn't. But they were just in the recording studio, and they were like, "Guys, we need a crowd of dead people. They everybody come in here." Everyone, everyone, say impossible. One, two, three, including you, Saladin. The mirror impossible. of truth cracks from the strength, <laughs> and death sheds a single gray tear. King Kal King Kalakazam and Princess Alashazam. No, yet. Princess Abracadabra. Nightmare is the real winner in this story. <laughs> Are you coming, Majesty? Al Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. Watch over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from all us. All that has been stolen from us. I will keep her safe until your return. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter. Indeed. <laughs> I don't think All you're right. supposed to keep the horse, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where, where's mostly most of the living. living? We're mostly living. There we go. Okay, this is a perfect time for us to take a brief break, because Yay! when we return, I think we're on the home stretch. I think we're gonna get marriaged. Yeah. I can't wait. Princess can't Casino. Wait. I'm waiting for you, sweet girl. Mm. That's right. Be back uh, after I figure out how to uh, mute Sean and Bill. And they're muted, and now it's time to mute me.